Hello and welcome back to LIT, Lisa's Initial Thoughts. Today I want to talk about my house. And I want to read 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. You know, saints, we were brought with the price, the blood of Jesus, so we belong to him. Jesus lives within his children's heart. You know, when I think about the physical house, I think about, um, you know, cleaning. I think about how I take care of my physical house, which is, you know, the vacuuming, the cleaning, the doing the dishes, the upkeep of the house. If something um, runs down, you may want to um, replace it. And, uh, you know, if you live in an apartment, you take just as much pride and care in where you live as well in, in our physical homes um, made with mortar and brick and wood. And, you know, and we can put that much care in taking care of something that can be destroyed with a tornado or fire, flood. Um, how much more do we need to take care of our physical bodies, which Christ has given us? And when we think about our physical bodies, you know, where the Lord dwells, you know, it is the temple. Our bodies are a temple. Uh, you know, this house must, must also be maintained. You know, let's look at um, what the outer shell, the outer shell of our physical bodies, you know, we bathe. We um, maybe put lotion on, a perfume on, we get our hair done, nails done. Talking about the outer part of the body. You know, we um, uh, men get their hair cut and trim the beards and all of that with the outer shell. But when you think about the inner shell, then you talk about the things that we consume. What are we eating? What are we drinking? What are we putting inside of this temple that God has given us and entrusted us with? Um, you know, this house is truly where the Lord dwells. In Revelation 3.20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and, and be with him. Now, I know you may be thinking, but why did she read that? The same, um, it's not the same as our, our bodies being a temple. You know, you may be thinking that it's not the same as our bodies being a temple when I talk about the Lord stands at the door and knock. Um, but that invite, you know, he, we, we are inviting him. We are, we're letting God come into our hearts. He says, if I stand at the door and knock, come, can I come in? You know, and, and it's up to us to reach and open that door to let him into our lives and welcome God in. And then, but it, it, it's, it's kind of hard because once you open the door to let him in, how long will he stay in an unkept or, a, a unkept or unclean temple? In all that we do and say and think, we must remember God dwells within us. My house, our house, should always be a place where God longs to dwell. I know um, you're thinking um, about Deuteronomy 4.31 or Hebrews 13.5. God says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, you know, and you're right to believe it. But he also tells us many are called, but very few are chosen. So I say um, that we have to be careful what, what we're doing with our bodies, what we're doing with our temples that have been entrusted to us. In Matthew 20, 16, it says, um, God, does, God does stay within us, but we have to clean, but we have to clean house and keep it clean. You know, it, it, it says, um, that our physical temple is where he dwells. And although he, he will never leave us nor forsake us, he stays in spite of who we are, but there will come a day when our house will have to come under judgment. 
um, you know, because this is a place where we should really keep clean and take pride in who we are. You know, I'm I'm not saying that if someone struggles with, you know, obesity or or you know, or something going on, I'm not judging nobody like that. I you know, I I have no judgment on that because everybody that is overweight is some of it is not by choice. Some people that I know there's a disease with a young man who can't stop gaining weight. You know, there's some kind of disease like that. So I don't I don't judge people for that. You know, and I don't judge people for um being too thin. I don't I don't judge people for nothing like that. But what I'm saying is that we, you know, we have to, when we say that we are children of God and we are moving about and, and professing God's name and quick to say he's a good God and God blesses, oh, God is this, that God is that. You know, he, God is looking for a total picture. He's looking for a total, um, how can I say, surrender uh, includes the body. Be careful. If he says don't eat it, don't eat it. There, there is. You cannot justify something that has been deemed an abomination. I don't care what scripture you find. You, it doesn't justify God saying it was an abomination. You know, because some people say just bless it and you can eat it, and find different loopholes within the Bible to try to justify why you want to do something that God said not to do. You know, when we when when people drink and and and, and when people um, smoke and you know. This this is our bodies are temples. Our bodies are temples, and you don't want to put strong drink in your body. You don't want to be smoking and and all these things and doing these all manner of things out there, drugs and 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 things. You know that um, you know that should have. That should have never entered our temple in the first place. Because I know some people may say, well, people are hooked on drugs and people are hooked on alcohol. They can't help it or whatever the case may be trying to get off. But you had to make a choice when, when it was presented to you to say yay or nay. And a Christian, when those choices are presented to them, our answer should always be nay. Because our bodies are a temple of the living God. God longs to dwell within his people and not only worry about whether or not our hair is done and our nails are done and our people makeup and diff the different things that, that, that go on that, that, that make us feel good and look good. On the outside, we have to always remember that the inside is just as important, if not more important, because that's where the spirit dwells. That's where God dwells. God says, I, I will give you a new heart. You know, I will, which means he wants to clean us up and cleanse us from, from all this vile stuff that is going on within our bodies. So that's all I wanted to say is just um, God didn't just, you know, set up, res you know, it, let me see. He stands at the door and knock and he wants to set up residency with us. And in order to do that, we have to clean house. We have to clean house. And make our, our our bodies a living sacrifice for Christ. A place where he longs to dwell and where he's comfortable at. God is not comfortable dwelling within us if we're cussing and fussing and fighting and drinking and partying and, and drugging and doing all these different stuff. The spirit does not dwell there. So we need to start making choices. Uh, better choices at the things that we do, the things that we say, the things that we consume, the things that even we put on the outside. He tells people not to um, tattoo the body. But if your body was tattooed prior to coming to Christ, he understands that. You, you know, God, don't, he's not going to hold that against you if you if there was something you did when you didn't know him. You know, he, he doesn't hold that. He said, come as you are. You know, God, you know, he, he'll accept that. Sure enough. But once you're there, he tells you not to tattoo your body. Don't get any more. You know, and those that don't have any, don't go get any because he, he tells us what to do. Um, and, you know, and God has every right to tell us um, what to do on the inner and outer parts of our bodies. He died for us. Our bodies are a living sacrifice for God inner and outer and if we can take care of a physical house that's made of mortar and brick and and, and, and wood we can show sure enough take care of a body that god has created and longs to dwell with his children so that's all i wanted to say talking about my house how do i take care of my house when it comes to the lord thank you
If you like what I say, you can subscribe. You can hit the like button. You can even share a comment or share it with someone else if you like. Saints of God, until we meet again, stay safe, stay blessed, and please, please stay in the fight.